Um, right now, it's kind of like a mad dash to get up there and see what you can do. Ben Fosland, president of West River Financial, says for the last year, he's advised business owners looking for a foothold in North Dakota. I've <laughs> talked to people that are building houses, people that are building apartments, people that are building hotels, people that are doing all kinds of mixed-use developments. There's just a need for everything right now. A need businesses in Dakota Territory can fill. I would look at this as a market a growing, almost exploding market. Uh, so the potential of dollars that are going to be spent on X, Y, and Z is phenomenal. Ben Snow, president of Rapid City Economic Development, says X, Y, and Z can be pretty much any service or product a business already provides, such as manufacturing, and expanding those services to fit the needs in the oil field. All of the opportunities to fill a supply chain, the opportunities to service companies, that are up in the Bakken. To me, that, that option is very much in play now and for as, as long as this lasts. And while no one knows how long the Bakken oil field will continue to boom, Snow says the amount of money the large oil companies are willing to invest is a good indication. What we're seeing up there is a lot of money being put into facilities that really have a feel of more permanence than maybe what you've seen in past boom-bust cycles.